Okay. Darth, Darth, Darth Cotton? I don't know. I have no idea about this username. How should I pronounce it? But we will call him Conan because his name is Conan. So good luck, Conan. C3. So takes D5, D5. We should be five. We go, we should be six. The old theory. So we go, we should be four. Bishop e3 is the line. Okay, he goes for bishop c6. I'm not sure about this actually. Because now f6, and he has always some problems in this diagonal g4, d1, and the knight is always pinned. So. We go bishop h5. I could take on f3 actually. I think he blundered. Because if he takes with the queen, pawn and takes on e5. And some problem, I guess. So takes queen h4. And we have some attack on, on the king side. So let's say king h2. We go rook e8. F4. I am gonna sack the rook. Probably I am worse here, but I'm trying to be aggressive here. So take honey five. I'm gonna change the queens and go rookie two. Now I take some pawns. So um Rook e1, I take on f2, king f7, okay, rook e1, I could take another pawn on a2, but maybe it is time for rook f1 check, rook e2, rook e7, king f6, king g5, king h1, okay, this might be good for black, I will run with the king to a g3, so let's say rook e6, we go king h4, he, he offered me a draw, unfortunately, I think I'm much better here, I'm not sure though, because rook h7, king g3, rook e1, okay, then I take on g4 and we say we have enough pawns for the exchange, so, but I think I'm bluffing here. So... The point is that if after rook h7, king g3, rook e1, he could both defend the a1 mate and the h2 mate. This is the beautiful thing about it. So let's say h6 was a very bad move because... Okay, let's go king g3, let's go all in. Bishop f2. He had a very nice move, rook h2, but he missed it. So bishop e3. Yeah, I was hoping for this. Okay, bishop e3, rook h7, king g4, probably it's still I am. No, I'm not even better, I think, after rook c7. Yeah, unfortunate. Rook c6 was unfortunate. Mm. He played a very good game. So, good game. 